What's up, everybody? It's Ben Fabusa. I'm out here getting ready to do a real hardcore on the vehicle test. I want to show you something real quick before this testing happens. This is my trunk latch right here, okay? Now listen to this. You hear that? So when I'm doing this testing, this is what you're hearing. That nasty rattling sound, that, and this metal. I'm leaning over the top of my box, so sorry, I sound like I'm out of breath. This metal, see this metal right here? These two pieces, they're slapping together right here. So you hear this brr, brr, brr. So that's just so you know, it's not the subwoofer, it's this metal that I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle of cutting this stuff out right here. So it's a work in progress, and then this is rattling real bad. So what I have here is the speaker wire. I'm gonna real quick tie that latch to the latch over there. So it'll make this test a little bit better. Um, reposition. I don't know if y'all can see that, but same match, dark or not. And there's gonna be some testing. I'm going across the street from my house. Let me move out. Uh, you can see I'm over here at the neighbor's house. I can't really turn all the way around. That's the neighbor's house. So I'm going right now across the street to get this testing done. Be back in a second. All right. I got this tied in best I could. That's not easy tiring. Tying speaker wire. See how you can't really see what my camera's uh, recording because the sunlight's really bright out here. All right, now I'm going across the street from the testing. What's up everybody? This is Ben Fabusive. This is going to be a real world on the vehicle test. This is the front battery here. I have my DMM connected to it. I'm sitting at 1494 at the front battery. Now I'm going along to the inside. Show you my voltage on the dash. This is at the amplifier. We are looking at 15 even. That's actually 1494. It's just the Stinger voltmeter doesn't allow me to adjust for that. So, going back out here again. There's a DMM on the front battery. The Stinger is the voltage at the amplifier. One excessive amperage alternator. There she is. Single alternator. Now, Same subwoofer, Bass Pro Audio Juggernaut. There's the uh, speaker cable I just tied across to try to keep this trunk together because the metal is breaking. It is falling apart. Here you can see it's split all the way across and this is open and slapping so you will hear a little bit of a slapping noise. And it's not the subwoofer, the subwoofer is clear on all levels. Oh, RPM, get the light out of the camera. Sitting right at 500 RPM. And we're looking at 15 volts on the dash. As far as that little ground noise that you were hearing, fellas, you can see the car is a wiring mess right now. I have these little speakers just sitting in here. They're all over my RCA, so that little ground noise is to be expected. That ground noise will not be present when my install is complete. Now, on for a little bit of music. RPM below 500.
holding solid. One alternator, less than 500 RPM. Give you a little look at it, fellas. See that? Less than 500 RPM, fellas. Less than 500 RPM. Add a little bit more volume to it. Hold on. Y'all can hear me, but it's Let me turn the volume down for a second, just to show you this uh, RPM is hooked up. Watch this, I put my hand down here by the pedal. That's a real deal, fellas. Real world, on the vehicle testing. No bullshit. That's the power you get when you go with the excessive amperage. Now, let's go some rock music. Saw you the other day Camera out of my hand. Because it's just about to happen, and you be there. You must have known the storm was coming when the clouds One alternator, fellas. Match 3K. Hollywood 4 channel. Let's turn the headlights on. See that? They're actually on. That's the regular ones. Let me get the brights on. There we go. Brights. <laughs> Bolt is holding solid at 15. I don't know what that sounds like on the video, fellas, but here, in person, it feels like it's peeling the top of your head off. All right, where's that uh, little woofer tester CD? Let's put that on for a second. As far as my review on the Match Pro Audio Juggernaut, Juggernaut it is my opinion that the Juggernaut in the hands of the right person, uh, it's a highly capable driver. I am extremely impressed with that woofer right there. There's another look at it right there. Now I'm going to throw some system checker in there. I just call it woofer. Uh, 
woofer tester, but it's called System Checker. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Now, putting in the system check a CD. Open. Yeah, my apologies about that ground noise, but uh, that's to be expected with the sloppy wiring mess that I have going on here right now. I'm at a severe lack of time, fellas. I've been extremely busy with work, so. But once the build is done, that will no longer be needed. person. That sound you're hearing right there is a trunk. Let me put that on repeat. Oh, let's see. Give me one second. Looking for the repeat button. Yo, juggernaut, fellas. Ooh, wee! <laughs> everybody in uh, closing this video right here I just want to say that this right here was a real world on the vehicle test no nonsense no bullshit no candy coating just real real life test results fellas man nothing to hide HD video you know real time so I'd like to say that uh, as far as the Mats Per Audio juggernaut I'm impressed it's a highly capable driver it's a highly musical driver in the hands of the right person the Mats 3k amp that thing is a fucking beast. And uh, the excessive amperage high output alternator, I'm, I'm Nate, man. I love that thing to death, bro. That thing is, it's ridiculous. That, that's the only word that I can think of that comes to mind. I mean, I'm sitting there idling under 500 RPM with the volume turned all the way up, putting 3K RMS plus, okay, to that woofer right there and not experiencing any voltage drop. That's just ridiculous. And that's just one alternator. The other alternator, as a matter of fact, is in this little bag right here. I mean, I'll, I'm not, you know, I'm not really even supposed to show this, but I'll just give you guys kind of like a little peek of it because this is some of Nate's prototype technology that he hasn't released yet or anything, and, he, you know, he hasn't patented or anything, so I don't even know when he's going to release it, I and mean, that's up to him, but um, I'll give you a peek of the uh, drive into the housing. It's what's inside this bag right here. Okay. What you're looking at right here, fellas, is a single most powerful small case alternator in the world. The entire world right here fellas this is her right here see how my hand almost covers the whole thing it's tiny this little alternator right here is actually more powerful than the one that i just did this demonstration with i'm very very excited about getting this one on the car um it's probably going to be about two weeks fellas before i get this thing on there along with the uh, stealth box which is a, a 900 amp external diode pack uh it is going to be ridiculous